With possible rough waters ahead, our next guest can tell us how to prepare. He is a best-selling author. Robert Shemin joins me now from his beautiful home, his beautiful yard. I always enjoy connecting with you, Robert. How are you this morning? Great. Good to be here. How are you, JJ? Well, I'm pretty good, although I am a little concerned about this state of the world's finances. Uh, do you think we're heading towards a recession here? I think we're in one. And, you know, uh, st statistics say that if there's two quarters of negative growth we're in a recession, so all the economists and government are debating it. But, JJ, if you talk to people like I do, the taxi drivers, the Uber drivers, the waiters, waitresses, business people, uh, the mood has changed. We had a big party. The government gave out trillions, not with a B, with a T. Uh, everybody's doing well for a long time. Everything was going up. And when you have a big party, JJ, uh, afterwards, there's a bit of a hangover, and we're in it right now. Recession. Uh-oh. I do not enjoy hangovers at all. I've experienced <laughs> a few, Robert. <laughs> uh, you're there in the yard of your beautiful home. Of course, you have uh, done some really amazing investing when it comes to real estate. Is right now a good time to make a big purchase like investing in real estate or any other investments for that matter? Well, you know, first of all, there's always people that do well, even in a recession, you know, uh, certain businesses and certain people don't do well. But the mood out there is, you know, prices are up, uh, um, things are expensive. But what, what am I doing? There's always a deal. But when everyone's mm. selling is a good time to be buying. When everyone's buying uh, is a good time to be selling. There's always a deal. So right now, most hardcore big time investors I know are raising money like me, getting ready because there's more buying opportunities. Foreclosures are up. Uh, people got in over their heads when all the money was easy and free and interest rates were so low. And now they're not. So you got to know what you're doing. But I believe there's always opportunity. There's a lot more right now when everyone is, is has a lot of fear. Yeah, it's almost like you want to be a salmon investment wise. You want to kind of see where the, the stream is flowing and, and flow against it if you're smart. Do the opposite. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, you know, all, all good financial management starts with a budget. It, it's so important to understand, you know, what your spending is going to be in 2023. You are seeing a lot of people streamlining their budgets right now, and that's a great place to start, isn't it? That's right. I mean, look at the big companies. All you read about right now are layoffs, which is unfortunate for the people getting laid off. But it's amazing, JJ, how few households or businesses actually have a budget. And if they have one, they never look at it. Uh, I always feel better when you hear these billion dollar companies going bankrupt. I'm like, wow, they they're bad at accounting, too. I thought I was the only one. So please set a budget with your household, your business, cash flow, what comes in, what goes out. And there's always a way to save 20, 30 percent. Uh, but you got to know where you are before you can fix anything. And I think that's the key. 80, 90 percent of the solution is knowing what the challenge is, where you are, set it for this month, for the year and uh, stick to it. Yeah. And it's also about, you know, kind of seeing the opportunity within the struggle, isn't it? I, I mean, if we are in a recession or, or headed towards one, there actually are some strategic moves and some advantages to being in that position. That's right. Listen, the last couple of years, the markets were really high. Real estate was uh, red hot and it was hard uh, to find good deals. So for people that want to start a systematic savings investing program, I think now's the time to do it. And listen, anybody can save five dollars, ten dollars, fifty, a hundred dollars a week. The problem is they never start. So start mm. now. Um, and if you do it for long term, uh, yeah, the market might go down a little bit in a couple months, a little more, but you're not selling in a few months. You're yep. buying those stocks or bonds or real estate for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And if you buy when everyone's selling, you're probably going to do better. But you got to know what you're doing. Some great tips. Real quick before we go, I believe you had one last tip you wanted to share with people. Well, uh, that is uh, do what I'm doing. When uh, things are going south, we're starting to raise money, educate ourselves on certain markets because the opportunities are coming. It was a lot harder to find them uh, two, three years ago when everybody was buying with all the easy money. So set a goal, block your time, make it happen, and uh, stick with it. There's always a way. There's going to be deals out there in real estate and other things, and you're going to regret it. Like uh, people look back 10, 15 years ago, I wish I would have bought then, and they didn't. So now's yep. the time to do it. Now's the time. Robert, always great to connect with you. By the way, your yard is looking especially beautiful <laughs> today. Last time I actually got to see someone feed the birds back in the cage. Didn't see anyone today, but I'm sure they're being well taken care of. Great to see you, my friend. Good to see you.
All right, for more information on how to prepare yourself and get a copy of Robert's book, visit robertsheman.com. That's his website. You can also follow him on Instagram at robertsheman.